Hello and welcome. On my last video, I did an experiment with the octopus inks. And so today I am back to do a larger scale with the Anoki octopus ink, as well as the octopus resin inks. And I'm going to use teal, shadow, and melon as my resin ink colors. I'm going to try to make them look like this um, that I did in the last experiment video. So I did mix up about 16 ounces of resin and I'm adding 30 drops of the Anoki to that, mixing that well. Um, and then I'm going to get three cups of approximately two ounces each, and I'm putting five drops of the teal, uh, mixing that, and then I will put seven drops of the melon and mix that to incorporate. And then I will use three drops of the shadow since it's darker, and again, mix that to incorporate. And then the first thing I did was I poured that Anoki mix just to cover the entire bottom of the mold. And then I poured directly in the middle the teal um, resin ink mixture that I had made. And then I followed that with the melon resin ink mixture, um, pouring directly into the middle of the teal. And then that was followed by shadow poured directly into the middle of the teal melon. And now I'm coming in with some clear resin, um, pouring that again directly in the middle. And then I'm going to use this copper foil mixed with some resin to put right in the middle. And as I started putting it in the middle, I was going to initially just put it in the center. But due to the fact this is an oval shape, I decided to go ahead and make it more of a rectangular shape. Um, and then I just went over that with a heat gun and spritzed it with some um, isopropyl alcohol and allowed that to cure. I only let it cure for about 10 hours and then I came and I demolded it um, because I knew that I wanted to shape this into not just a plain flat platter, but so far I love the effect that it gave. It looks very nice. And then I'm just gonna grab a bowl and push that down into the bowl and I will let that sit um, for at least 24 to 48 hours and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I've taken it out of the bowl and as you can see, it does have the shape. And now I'm going to apply this metal leaf around the edges. I decided that I wanted to use the same gold leaf or copper leaf that I put in the middle of the bowl um, around the outside of the bowl just to give it some continuity. Um, so I applied that and then you have to let that sit for one hour. So an hour later, I came back and I just started applying that um, leafing around the edges of the uh, perimeter of the bowl where I had applied the glue or the leafing glue. And then just went over that with a, um, a paintbrush to remove any of the excess um, and just went around the entire bowl and that was all now done and I will give you a close-up uh, view of the actual finished product I think it turned out wonderful I'm very happy with it and this was using the formulation from my prior video of the 30 drops of the Anoki and then just using the resin inks and giving um, enough space a large enough mold to give it the opportunity to move around some more I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and press the bell to be alerted to future videos.